Parallel lines have the same slope. And perpendicular lines have a slopes which are the negative reciprocal of each other. Let's see what this looks like when we're given an equation. If we want to find the slope of another line that is parallel to this one, it will have the same slope as this one. So using the y equals mx plus b form of the straight line equation, I can see that the slope of the given line is two-thirds. I write m1, slope of line 1, is equal to two-thirds. Then I state that slope 1 is parallel to slope 2. Therefore, the slope of line 2, m2, will also be equal to two-thirds. This statement is called the justification. When you're doing calculations with the slopes of parallel lines, it can be important to say this to justify the slope that you are using. If I just plump down two-thirds as my slope, I might be correct, but I have to say something that gives the teacher who might be correcting my exam proof that I understand this concept. This is a justification, and it can be justified in other ways too. With perpendicular lines, it looks very similar. I can see that using y equals mx plus b, the slope of this line is negative 3 quarters. I want to know what the slope is of another line that is perpendicular to this one. I write m1 is equal to negative 3 quarters. m1 is perpendicular to m2. Therefore, m2, the slope of line 2, will be equal to positive 4 thirds. The negative reciprocal means I turn the fraction upside down and I change the sign. So this is a positive 4 thirds slope for the second line. Here again I have given a justification which shows the logic I am using to find the slope of the line when I'm doing a multiple step problem. 